When we think of tornadoes, we typically think the plains, not the mountains. Meteorologist Matt Makins takes us to the high country to show us why extreme weather can hit anywhere, no matter the elevation. Tornadoes can happen anytime, anywhere, even in those areas that you don't think it's possible. For example, I'm at Antero Reservoir with the mountains behind me, collegiate peaks in the distance. Imagine you're here with your family, just doing a little bit of fishing in the morning. The weather kicks up. The last thing you may expect to see is a tornado, but that's exactly what Linda Reno caught on her cell phone in early June. This is the third tornado in Park County since 1950. None have caused damage and no injuries reported. Colorado isn't known for particularly strong tornadoes, but we do get a lot of them. Nearly 2,000 tornadoes have hit the state since 1950. Most of those have been right here along the Front Range. Weld County has had more tornadoes than any other county in the entire U.S. That's over 250 in over 60 years. Nearly every part of the state has had a tornado, even this highest one near Mount Evans. And there are very few counties that haven't had at least one tornado in the past 60 years. Dolores, Garfield, Gilpin, Gunnison, Hinsdale, Lake, Uray, San Juan, San Miguel, and Summit counties are the only ones without a reported tornado in about 50 years. This is not to say a tornado is impossible in these areas. All it takes is for the air rushing into a thunderstorm to spin. A tight enough spin and a tornado can form. Because mountain winds are so erratic, that also explains why these high elevation tornadoes are weak and brief. If you see one, there's certainly no mistaking it. Meteorologist Mamakins, 24-7 Weather.